Good morning and welcome back guys to uh, my Facebook page. Shelly is speaking here and today I am going out on a limb to do this video in English and I am super nervous. Um, even though English is my native language, um, I do most of my well, not most of my videos, all of my videos, pretty much I do in German, and sometimes um, my English is failing me. So um, please be um, kind and nice to me today if I get off on some crazy um, word usage um, in my own native tongue. Um, as many of you know who've been following um, me on Facebook, on my as a friend, maybe on my timeline, or, or here on my business page where I'm doing the video today, you know that I'm currently involved in a continuing education with Michael Neal in his Super Coach Academy for Transformative Coaching. And um, I've been doing some videos letting you guys know that um, there is coaching available, personal coaching. Um, and um, I did quite a few of those personal coachings with people before Christmas, before the end of um, 2018, or before 2018 ended. and. I thought it might be helpful for, for other people if I would maybe just highlight some things that um, we talked about, some of the things that we looked at, um, the, the direction that we're looking in together in these personal coaching calls. And today I wanted to talk about blowing fuses. So as usual, um, I'd like to start with um, a story. Um, I love stories and metaphors. They always help me to um, grasp things and understand them better and maybe for you as well. So back in the last about three years, um, I was renting a house together with um, someone very close to me in Italy, um, a beautiful little cottage, more of a cottage than a house, um, on a hill quite far up, um, a drive that you had to take through these um, olive orchards, really beautiful, and with a view of the Mediterranean Sea. And I was oftentimes there with other people, and there came a point where I was there by myself for the very first time. And if anybody of you knows me personally, you know that I'm a, I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. It's not, it wasn't easy for me to start staying there overnight by myself in a, in a foreign country, not speaking the language, um, all by myself on top of a hill with nobody around. But I started going in that direction and whoever was there with me that week drove off and I was there by myself and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm here by myself and um, I, put myself into the weekend, you know, um, cleaning up the house on Sunday. I turned some music on and I turned the washing machine on and I had the clothes going and then I was going to vacuum and get ready for the week on Monday. And suddenly out of nowhere, it just, it went ping. It went ping. All the electricity went out and I was just stuck there. Um, with without any electricity, I didn't know what had happened. I didn't. I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't know who to ask. <laughs> I didn't know where you know where to go. I didn't have their proper phone numbers. But I eventually made my way over to the neighbor's house to Maria, who I later got to know um, quite well, and her husband Ugo. And uh, hi, good morning, Nicole. Hi, Evelyn. And she came over and I kind of just like with my hand and feet motioned to her that I was out of electricity. I don't even know how she understood me. Um, and she came over, she looked around the house, she saw the music speakers hooked up, she saw the vacuum cleaner hooked up, um, some other things that I had in, in plugged into the, the walls. And she got a look on her face like, oh, silly girl, you have overloaded the circuits. <laughs> and she pretty much let me know in her way in Italian, I don't know how we understood each other, that I had blown a fuse and I had used too many things at once. I had just all those things going, the vacuum cleaner, the washing machine, the music and everything plugged in. I don't even know what else I had on. And the way that that house was wired, it wasn't set up to deal with so many things going on at once. And I don't know if you know what a blowing the fuse really means. It just pretty much means is that in order, when we when we overload the circuit, the system just cuts off the electricity so that no fire happens or not, nothing hazardous happens. 
So Maria proceeded to help me by going up the hill to this little box that was responsible for all the little um, fuses in our area and she, you know, turned the electricity back on and I was able to move forward with my day. And this has come up in coaching pretty recently before the Christmas break. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. And it's the idea that we people, we work the same way. And our system is set up also to cut us off when we're using the equipment too much uh, at one time and 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 improperly uh, if i don't know what the right word for that but let me let me just tell you a little more about what i mean one of the times in my life where i felt like i had blown a fuse is at a time in my life when i had a sort of a burnout and a depression all at once. Um, I was in a job that I felt wasn't fitting to me. I wasn't feeling so happy about questioning whether I should stay or go. Um, my mother passed away. Um, I felt that loss very deeply. Um, and some other things were going on in my life. And what was happening was I was having all this thoughts, all this thinking about my current situation in my job and about the loss of my mother and some other things in my life. And each one of those subject matters was just like that. One was the washing machine, just running and running and churning and washing and washing and washing. I was getting some thinking, but I wasn't leaving the thinking alone. I was just churning it and churning it and churning it like the washing machine, right? And then some other thinking over here coming in and uh, me taking that on and also not leaving the thinking alone and just letting it come and go, but rather grabbing onto it, thinking more about it, um, like the vacuum cleaner, just running it and running it and running it, running it. Um, and then over here, some more thinking that was coming in. Instead of just letting it come and go, I was holding on to it and running it, you know, like, like the music box, playing the music, but not in a nice way. It wasn't nice music that I was playing. And at some point, my system was just overloaded with all of the, the constant thinking that I was doing, the constant trying to figure things out, the constant trying to analyze the situation and figure out to leave or go or what I should do about this or that. And at some point, my system just blew a fuse. And I... I, I sort of collapsed in a way, and not in a way like I, I fell down and there was literally no electricity in my body, but but I I just reached this stage where I just couldn't function. Um, I, I felt sick in my body. I felt exhausted and fatigued. Um, I, I couldn't think straight. I couldn't put on the mask of happy-go-lucky, sunshiny Shelia. When I went to work in the morning, I just wasn't, I didn't have any more juice in the system to put up that front and I ended up you know having to leave work for a while and it wasn't it wasn't the kind of burnout um, really long period that where people leave for like months at a time but I left a couple of weeks but in fact I had been running all of the equipment in my little house for so long and all in that way that it took me a couple of years to regain um, my my electricity, my juice, if, if you so will, right? And back then when that happened, I was living in, um, in a misunderstanding about how life works. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit today. And the direction that I'm pointing in with this uh, blowing a fuse conversation is I used to think, I used to look out into the world and I used to think, well, obviously it's the job that's causing the situation, right? That's what's making me feel ill and uh, burnt out. Or obviously it's the death of my mother. That's what's making me feel um, alone or in a loss and in, in this depressive state. Obviously it's all the stuff that's going on in the outside. And I thought that my fuse blowing came from the outside. And what I'm pointing to today is the thing that I discovered, which was it's exactly the other way around, right? I was feeling burned out and exhausted and that I'd blown a fuse or my system had pulled the plug, so to speak, to settle me down, right? 
because I'd created all of that, all of that from the inside. It wasn't my job that was making me stressed. It was my thinking about my job that was making me feel stressed out and led to me blowing a fuse. It wasn't the loss of my mother that made me feel depressed. It was my constant thinking about the loss of my mother that led me to blow or my, led my fuse to blow, right? And at the time, I didn't feel like that was a very good way that the system was set up. I felt like it was cruel in a way, right? I already had all these problems I felt that were going on in my life. And then, and then on top of that, I get sick in my body. I get this fatigue. I get this ongoing feeling of lacking energy, right? Well, today, looking back, I can see the absolute beauty in the design, the kindness in the design of that fuse just blowing. Because what happens then is like in that house in Italy, when, when the electricity just fl stops flowing to the cottage, everything just stops. Everything just stops and we settle down. I had to sleep a lot in that time. I didn't have any energy to keep thinking and churning and churning the thoughts. And I just was able to come back to sort of a reset point, right? And this was coming up in quite a few coachings before the Christmas break, and it happens in all areas of our, of our life. It's not just in, in job situations. I, I had one client that I spoke with um, whose daughter had noticed that her mother had gotten ill, and she started worrying and worrying and worrying about her mom and how things were going to move forward. And she, she felt helpless. She couldn't help her mom. She was just a little kid. And because she started worrying about her mom, she started, you know, churning all those thoughts in her head. She started getting to a point where her system blew a fuse and she would get panic attacks every night and she would start crying and, and just get hysterical and then get calmed down, some point go to sleep. But in the morning, she wasn't able to go to school. She was just um, in a state of the, the, the fuse had blown and that's just natural and, and and that's what I want to talk with you about now as well is that how natural that is and that there's nothing to worry about when that happens and that's something we talk I talked about with this parent as well is that yeah that that happens to all of us when we start churning and worrying and getting stressful thinking that we're hanging out in for our, for long periods of time. It's just natural that that fuse will blow. And there's nothing to worry about also with that child because she will start coming back to her natural state. The system will start to do its job and settle us back down and get us on an even keel again if we let it. Now, if we don't let it and we start thinking it's a problem, well, we might try to step in and, I don't know, um, what I did was go to the psychiatrist or um, worry that I was broken. Well, what does that do? Well, that started me thinking again. So it was like adding in the iron to iron my clothes in addition to all the other stuff that was going. It was just a new set of thinking that popped up, right? So if you can see you're not broken, there's nothing to worry about, it'll settle on its own. The system is built just in the right way to blow the fuse if it needs to. There's nothing wrong with you, you're not broken. Then you get to a certain place of calmness and you can look inside and from there, you can see if there's anything to do in the future. And maybe, maybe you will find an answer saying, this is, um, I'd like to leave this job. There's something else that I would like to do. Um, or another answer that might come up. But it comes from a totally different place. It comes from a calm place where we have access to this beautiful inner knowing that takes us on to the next step in our life 
in in a way that's in flow with the natural intelligence of life. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And um, I'd be interested to hear about what you've observed and what you could hear for yourself today. Um, what could you see? What could you hear? Um, what do you know? Share it with me in the comments area. I'd really love to hear from you. And um, maybe I'll be doing some more English videos soon if I keep up the courage to keep it going. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.